if you, if you saw me when I first got into real estate, you had to picture this. I, I was 19 years old. I walked into my first real estate office with white capizios. You know what those are? They're dance slippers. Dancers use them. I wore them out in the street. I had leather pants, no shirt and tie. I had a sweater. I had rings on my finger. Yeah. <laughs> they called me Disco Daryl. And, and my first six months, I sold a lot. I did. <clears throat> I, I, I sold my car, my furniture, <laughs> my cats. <laughs> so I figured I'm going to learn this business. I went to conventions. I bought tapes, read books. I don't know if you heard it, Joanne's introduction. I averaged about six transactions a month. I may say that's not too shabby. All right. And then I got into management speaking. I always have somebody, always and every one summer, they'll ask me, well, if you were so good as a salesperson, why are you doing the speaking thing? Well, <laughs> oh, because there's more money in it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no. I just like to help people now. <laughs> and I love to travel, you know. <laughs> So anyway, here's why I say that, no kidding aside. If I go from selling my car, my furniture, and my cat, to averaging six transactions a month, I know everybody in this room can, can hit whatever goals you have.